And what is up, guys? It's your Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another video for you. In this one, of course, if you looked at the thumbnail, you know we are taking a look at one of my favorite knives in my collection. No doubt. Like, no joke. This is really one of my favorite knives. I'm super excited to talk about it tonight. And, uh, you know, if you looked at the thumbnail, you know that we are looking at the AD 20.5. Well, bam The Tanto. The best gear is the gear you have on you. So as always, guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thank you so much for stopping by to watch one of my videos. If you're returning, hey, great to see you again. I hope you've been doing well. And in this video, guys, like I said before, I this is one of my favorite knives in my collection. I have to be honest when I say that. I will be up front and say I am a I'm a Demco Knives affiliate, which means that uh, if you buy something through one of our links down below, uh, you know, that we it does help the channel out a little bit. We get a small amount of that. It doesn't cost you any more to do it that way. So if you want to help support the channel, I will have uh, some links for some Demcos down in the description. I don't have one for this one because this one actually was only available uh, from DLT Trading. And uh, it has a few has a few particular little differences in it from just a normal Demco 80 20.5. And uh, so, yeah, let's get into that. And, and so you guys know, like always, I do like to give a little bit of background on, uh, you know, just the different knife makers and just a little bit of history about the knife. In general, if you want to skip to this, um, after this, I'll do a top down view and we'll go through the specs of the knife. Um, and after that, I'll we'll do a top down. I'll show you, you know, sort of what I like about it, uh, the function of it, how well it flicks, things like that. Um, and then after that, I'll give you my final thoughts on it. So if you want to skip over the history lesson, <laughs> feel free to go ahead. Um, so, you know, if you guys aren't familiar with Andrew Demko, he is the main designer uh, at Demko Knives. I think he may be the only designer there, actually. It, the AD 20.5, of course, you know, Andrew Demko and 20.5. He has worked for other companies before. He was famous for working with Cold Steel um, and came up with the Triad Lock, I believe that it was over there. Uh, so he's sort of famous for coming up with these really, really sturdy, uh, really innovative locking systems. And the uh, locking system that's on the AD 20.5 is no exception. It does feature his shark lock system, which you can see there, this little fin that sticks up on top of it. And thus the shark lock, it sort of has that shark spin there. Um, but what it does is it locks the blade as it comes into contact with it and creates just a very, very sturdy surface. There is no give to that whatsoever. So, um, yeah, he did create that locking system and the uh, locking system over at Cold Steel. It was featured on some of their best knives, some of their most durable, most reliable knives. And uh, so he actually went out on his own and started creating his own knives. And uh, this is one of the latest iterations. It's the AD 20.5. You know, it's more of an EDC sized knife. The AD 20s were a little bit bigger, but the ergonomics on it are so good. The lines, the ergos, the just the attention to detail, the, the way they feel in your hands, the G10 scales that they have on them. The, uh, the pivot, this one does have uh, the skiff bearings on the pivot. You can see there, uh, the pivot is quite a bit bigger than just the standard pivot. And so it has, the skiff bearings have a, quite a bit different feeling to them from the, uh, the standard bearings, like uh, is on this model has just the standard bearings on it. And just in the hand, it, it has a completely different feel to it. So um, anyway, that's a little bit of the history of the knife. I did, when I picked this one up, if you guys want to watch the unboxing, I was super excited to get this one. This is one of the most exciting uh, unboxings that I probably did on knives because I just was, I was so excited to get one of these. I just, I love them. Uh, and they're one of those knives I do have to say that as cool as they look and as much as, you know, the way people talk about them, they're just nothing like the feel of one of these in the hand. It, it's absolutely incredible. So uh, let me tell you a little bit about the technical specs on this knife. And uh, yeah, 
take a look at this here. The AD20.5 features a 3.19 inch Tanto blade in 3V steel. And of course you do get thumb studs as well as the thumb slot. Great jimping on the back of the blade as well. You can see here that upgraded pivot. Got the skiff bearings on the pivot and there the fin from the shark lock. You can see the shark lock here on the back and the 0.125 millimeter blade thickness. You can see this is an extremely thin knife, very lightweight. Doesn't take up a whole lot of room in the hands. It's weighing in at 3.7 ounces. So again, super lightweight knife. See, it does have a nice long pocket clip on the end here. And you can kind of pick up on the texture of those scales on the G10. There's a little better look at the pivot. And of course, the 3V steel. Very, very slicey Tanto blade on this one. So as you can see, the AD 20.5 really is going to fall just perfectly into that EDC category. It's just the right size for something smaller to carry around with you. And it's very, very thin. I don't know if that picks up very well on the video, but when you hold it in your hand, you can tell it. It has a very, very thin width to it, although it does have a 0.125 millimeter thick blade on it. So good, good blade stock, but um, packaged in just very thin G10 scales with steel liners. And then the shark lock there. It's almost like the... Shark lock takes up more room on the back of the knife than the width of the scales and the uh, steel liners put together. And I do like the way they inset the steel liners there. It looks really nice. Um, everything that they did on this is just, just very well done. Up here you can see it does have pins in where the shark lock system is. And then down here are your tools to, you know, swap out the scales if you want and they do have a ton of scale options for these this one of course did, did come with the g10 scales with a really really nice diamond texture to them i mean it's very grippy got a great feel in the hand and something else i will say about this particular model the the pivot on this one the uh the way it has those skiff bearings on it it just has a completely different hydraulic sort of feel to it and it's not quite as drop shutty and you can miss it when you go to flick it um, you know but it will thumb flick very well off the thumb studs it'll finger flick very well off the index finger see yeah see i didn't quite get it on the uh, <laughs> spidey flick there you can also use the thumb slot to flick it um, there's a lot of ways to deploy this one you can even use the shark lock itself and it doesn't take much just let me see if I can get it to do it. Just a little flick. It usually it's about all, it, yeah. Just a little flick of the, look at the flick of the wrist. Just a little flick of the wrist there is all it takes to get that thing deployed. And uh, yeah, I love it. Great, great stone wash finish to the blade. Looks very, very well. And the sharpening, the grinds on it, the angles, everything looks just perfect. Of course, you know, if you if you don't know, this is Demco's line where they have started outsourcing some of their knives. Demco is an American company, of course, and they have started outsourcing some of their production to some companies in Taiwan or to a company in Taiwan. And the AD 20.5 series are actually made in Taiwan, but they do still have that Demco quality to them. Whoever's doing their quality control over there is doing a great job. I love the way that the handles are scalloped out and they they fit just right into your hand. It just melts into your hand. And then you do have enough room up here that you can get your finger up there. And of course, great jimping on the back here all the way to the edge of the swedge there. And it, you can get a great grip on that for those draw cuts. It, it's just it, it's it's just almost perfect. 
They do have a reversible pocket clip, of course, that you can switch um, from right to left handed. And they do actually come with a separate clip because if you look at the way that's made, it, it has to kind of line up differently with the scale. So the, the left handed clip is just a reverse of this one. But it does come with that. Uh, it does come with extra screws and hardware. These are available right now for $179 on DLT trading. And this is a DLT exclusive model. It's the only way that you can get that Tanto blade, as far as I know, on the Stonewash. And, and of course, in the 3V. The only other models that, that they do have, if you want to get it in the 3V instead of the S35VN, they do have a couple of models on there with the titanium handles. You can go to DemcoKnives.com. Like I said, I'll leave our description or uh, sorry, our affiliate link in this description down there. So if you want to go check those out, um, they do have some of the 3V models, but they are, are uh, the milled titanium. So I think that was one of the things that differentiated this maybe was the 3V steel with the G10 handles. But it's just, I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I'm a big fan of Tantos. Did I just cut myself on that thing? Luckily, no. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Tanto blade shape in general. But, uh, you know, when I saw that the DLT was doing an exclusive version of this one, I had to jump on it. And actually, when I got mine, they were running a deal where if you bought one of these, you got uh, a sheep's foot G10. Well, no, it wasn't a G10. It was a Grivery sheep's foot with the D2 blade came with it for free. So I had to do that. I don't currently have that knife. Um, I do have one similar to it. This one has the Grivery handles, but it is in a, what was this one? It was a D2 steel, I believe. Yeah, the D2 steel with the DLC coating. This is um, an exclusive one. I believe you can only get this one on DemcoKnives.com. So if you're interested in one of these, I'll leave a link for this one in the description down below if you want to check one of those out. Like I said, the only, as far as I know, the only place you can get these is on their website. One more thing about the Demco Knives website that I will say, one of the best deals that I saw on there, if you're interested in a worn, or they call theirs the Shark Split Blade. Um, it's this blade. If you're interested in one of the uh, Warncliffe Shark's Foot, Sheep's Foot, whatever type blades, they call theirs the Shark's Foot. If you're interested in one of those type blades, they do have one in, I want to say it's S35BN, and it comes in a collector's box. It's a collector's edition. That one's available on the Demco Knives website as well, and it is really super cool, and they have a good deal on that one. I want to say that that one is maybe $159, $179. I'll have to check on that price for you. But they do have this 3V model, the Tanto with the G10 scales, is available uh, on DLT Trading right now for $179. And like I said, I'll leave the link for that down in the description below as well. But there are um, some size comparisons where I'll show you how you can see that it does fit perfectly into the uh, EDC category there. That's it compared to the other one that I have. Um, this is, of course, compared to the Spyderco Para 3. And the uh, Benchmade Bug Out, of course. You know, those are the two perennials. And uh, you can see how it stacks up with those. You can see that it does fall perfectly into that, uh, you know, medium-sized EDC category. Let's uh, look at it compared to a couple more. Let's see. Flytanium Arcade, which, uh, of course, you know, this is my pick for knife of the year last year. I still am in love with this knife, and it does feature the same uh, Demco Shark Lock technology there. So that's pretty cool. Um, compare it to one more, one more knife here. Let's see what we got. The, yeah, let's take a look at this one. The Remet Rhino with the button lock. So you can see there, it just fits perfectly into that medium-sized EDC category. You know, it's not going to take up a whole lot of room in your pockets. But listen, I, I do want you to be aware of one thing. I'm not sure if it's this pocket clip or if it's the G10 scales. It must be these G10 scales. They're, they're very, very grippy. Anyway, guys, this thing will tear your pockets up. It has literally frayed a pair of my jeans already just uh, from uh, wearing it around to, uh, you know, use it a little bit to do the review on it here. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's crazy. And another thing that's kind of cool about these, you know, you know how everything EDC has to have a bottle opener on it. I've heard that you can use this as a bottle opener. So, you know, if you don't happen to have one, 
uh, you'll have one on your Demco AD 20.5. Which I guess I'm absolutely in love with this knife. The the pocket clip and the way that it tears your pockets up really is the only thing that I don't like about it. Being 100% honest. It's so well executed. It's just perfect. The way that it melts into your hand. And also that clip. The way that the clip's designed. It doesn't. Um, you can see from the profile here. It really doesn't create a hot spot in your hand. So it's very, very easy to hold and use. It is as sharp as the devil's tongue right out of the box. So, uh, you know, unless you just like putting your own super, super sharp little edge on it there, this one is good to go right out of the box. So guys, I would recommend uh, hop over there, over to DLT Trading. If you've been looking at getting an AD 20.5, hop over there and grab one. That is a super good deal for 179, uh, especially with the 3V steel and the G10 scales, the upgraded pivot, Guys, that's a no-brainer. So uh, anyway, yeah, I definitely would recommend this one as a buy to anybody that's looking at getting into Demco knives. Um, and again, this is one of my favorite. This is one of my absolute favorite knives in my collection right now. Being really honest with you. Uh, and this says something for the Shark Lock technology, I guess, that these right now are, are my probably the, my two of my favorite knives in my collection. I love my arcade, and I'll, I'll be an arcade fan uh, till the till the very end. I just, you know, if, if you haven't seen my video on that one, you could go watch that and watch me fanboy out on it. But uh, yeah, these are two of my favorite knives in my collection right now. The lockup on them are just absolute. That shark lock does not fail. You don't have to worry about it ever. I probably moved my camera, whacking it so hard. Ooh, I pressure shouldn't say that. Uh, spine whacking the knife. <laughs> and um, yeah, absolutely solid. There's no, no blade play whatsoever, up and down, back and forth, in any direction. It's, it's almost like a fixed blade knife. Um, and again, and like a, yeah, the centering is absolutely dead center on it. Anyway, guys, if you don't have a Demco AD 20.5, go get one. So, yeah, guys, like I said, I would absolutely recommend the Demco AD 20.5 to anyone. and Make a great addition to your EDC. If you're looking for something more in, you know, that upper end of the EDC range, obviously this is not going to be a budget knife, um, you know, and it may not be something that uh, you want to carry around in your pockets every day. I, I would, I totally get that. It's not something that I really would want to carry around in my pockets every day. I, I usually carry something a little bit less expensive, something I'm not worried about, uh, you know, as much breaking or losing. But uh, yeah, if also if you're a collector, you know, I can't recommend these enough. Um, you know, I, like I said, my only real issue with it is just, and it's probably just these G10 scales being so grippy. It, it really will tear your pockets up and maybe the clip will wear in over time or maybe I should loosen it up just a little. I'm not really sure, but I do know that, uh, man, that thing is not coming out of your pocket on accident. Um, and I know that the question that's on everybody's mind probably is, will it pocket flip? So I just wanted to show you. Yes, it will. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like down below. Uh, leave me a comment if you have a Demco, if you have one of the AD 20.5s or any of the Demco models. Be sure and visit our link down below for Demco knives if you want to pick one up uh, through our affiliate link. It helps, uh, you know, will help grow the channel. Leave us a like down below, comment. And if you're not subscribed, brother, what are you waiting on? You got great content coming out and you're not going to know it's coming out unless you're subscribed and uh, it's recommended to you. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. I'll wait here for a second for you while we, uh, whoa, it's okay. Cause it's tough. It's okay. Cause it's tough as nails. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. This is the AD 20.5 exclusive from DLT Trading, the Tanto. Go get you one. Go get you one. Anyway, As guys. I always say, always be carrying.
and the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. The best gear is the gear you have on you.